Hi, I'm working on my poppy painting in my friend Rita's garden again. And I realized that I really need to get some of these smaller shapes as they go back in space a little bit more clearly than I have been. And now I'm going to the left side of the paper and I'm going to work on uh, the progressive shapes, making them a little bit bigger as they come towards you, the viewer. So now I'm going to look at, put my pastel down and look for another color pastel because you really don't want to have everything be the same color and oftentimes in the pastel that will happen if you just don't just deliberately put down your stick of pastel. I want to show you what also it looks like to put some of those really intense blue-greens with the pastel color against the pastel orange. So isn't that amazing? It just pops off the paper. So again, I'm going to put that down and go for it another greenish color that's slightly lighter and I'm going to block in some of that blue-green over the darker blue-green so it sort of modifies that color a bit as I go. Okay, I'm going to work on the other side of the paper and down towards the middle so that I can see what happens when I break up those, those shapes a bit. So I'm putting some more of those deep blue greens in and then coming back again and modifying those colors and I'm looking for different shades of orange so that I can also modify that color a bit so and then my light kind of went away so I I'm winging it here with the with the values and the good thing about pastel is that it's, it's not transparent so I can work back in and change some of those value relationships if I need to. Okay, see you later. Welcome back. I'm in Rita's garden painting her beautiful poppies and it's about to rain on me actually but I'm hoping that it doesn't. It holds off for a while because pastel really doesn't like to be rained on. I like watercolor where you can sit and watch the drops fall on your painting and come up with something that might work still. So right now I'm putting a dark slate blue color in the back to make things so the foreground start to pop. And then I'm going to overpaint uh, with a brown so that I have that blue underneath and it adds more interest to it rather than just having the brown there. And then I'm going to put a few of my poppies back in again. And I'm going to continue the painting to the left side using some lighter green for some of the bush shapes that are in the back. And I've got this really bright green that I'm also going to put in places in my foreground as well, uh, such as these foreground areas. And I'm going to go back over some of my dark blue greens also with some of this lighter green. See how that works for me. And then find another blue green. Put that in again. And I love the texture that pastel makes. Uh, so I don't usually go over it and blend it with my finger. I'm, I prefer to just have the color layer one color over another. So um, I like to have some of the colors underneath come through. So that I'm adding some different color oranges 
to add interest so it does it all end up being the same. Oh, that's a really bright one. I like that. So that changes things a lot. But I think I'll go back to one of the colors I was using before. Go in. That's a bright, yummy, sort of red orange. So I'm going towards the foreground. And I'll talk to you later. What I'm doing today is working on doing some of the poppy buds because they're such neat shapes and there is a big field of them and I want to get them before all of all of the uh, poppies open up. I want to see uh, what that does and so you have these really neat shapes repeated patterns of the poppy uh, buds if you go back in, in space and so I'm just doing the outlines of them now because some of that darker blue I want to have come through when I add the lighter color to it when I'm doing these buds and as you can see now I'm getting uh, the buds are getting bigger as I'm coming forward into the painting and I want to have some overlapping happening too so then that makes some of the poppies that are in the background go back in space in the, in the painting so that everything doesn't come forward. So that's what I'm doing now. Trying to get some of that going in the painting. Uh, and then I'm going to work some lighter color over it. You can see what that does. I probably need a lighter uh, uh, blue green for this. So, so I think right now I'm just going to keep putting those darks in as I work towards the foreground. The shapes are becoming larger. I'm getting these buds and then some of the spent flower stems as well. And right now, as you, as you can see, we're still dealing with a very abstract painting. Uh, but it gives it a unity to it that uh, you don't get otherwise in, in terms of color and shape and texture. And uh, I love that dark blue. So we're going to work on some lighter colors in a little bit. Okay, thanks.